Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we are talking about Adobe Dimension CC 2.2. This is the April release for 2019 and it comes with a couple of features. The very first one is the cloud rendering service. This cloud rendering service is definitely, definitely the big improvement that they have actually said they are coming out with. And I'm going to start off with why. The first things that is happening is they have this continued V-Ray that was shipped with Adobe Dimension 2.0 so it is now officially discontinued and if you check the time when it started up till this time it's about roughly 18 months that V-Ray actually lasted with the guys at Adobe and now they have discontinued that replacing it with their own personal render that is called the Adobe Render Engine. I don't know if it has a different name but this is what it is called and for now we're going to stick with that till they actually give it a proper name. For you to use the Adobe Cloud Rendering Service, you need credits. Depending on the resolution of your file, you can go ahead and pick up a credit ranging from one to three credits for each render you're going to do. And that is how good it's going to get. The next big thing that is uh, talked about is there is now support for Substance. Now you can now have your Substance Designer and your Substance Painter directly your materials can be shipped directly into dimension and this makes a lot of sense knowing fully well that they've just acquired the guys at algorithmic so you can now have all of those your substance materials or your substance uh, designer files and you can bring them right in you can do all of your tiling you can do all of your grungy thingy directly inside there as far as you have the dot sbsar file you can do all of those amazing things inside there i'm gonna put links in the description so you'll be able to find those things out for yourself just in case you want to read some things more the next thing which you're going to notice is there is now updates for place graphics now the updates for place graphics now simply means that you can now use images that you have from your pc downloaded from the internet stole from someone you can now use those things as decals on your models it now has the support for you to entirely fill these things you can also tile repeat and mirror very very basic uv uh transform uh, features you can have all of those things now other things that you can have is there is a live update that you can now link things from Photoshop and also Illustrator directly into your stuff. So if you make any correction on your Photoshop file and hit save and refresh your stuff or refresh your render, there is an automatic live link that would also, you know, link up those uh, changes into your model and you don't have to bring back the file inside and do all of those uh, back and forth transforms which actually makes a lot of sense in my opinion the dimension now has dimension that was what they said so you can now scale your objects to units you can now uh, measure your objects depending on what you want to render render size you're looking for all of those cool stuffs you can do them now now the next thing which i want to talk about is this is this adobe's move to uh, eliminate the guys that are into rendering because you know this is actually targeted to people that are into things like um product shots product visualization abstract arts and all that all of those things right uh, is this their, their, their move to take out the guys that work with things like key shirt and mammo sets and, and other rendering apps out there is this the, 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 the stuff to, to take them out? Because now we have substance, definitely, definitely, if you are a key substance user, you cannot, for any reason in the world, run away from using Adobe right now. You cannot run away from using Adobe right now. Following the fact that you can definitely render your stuff on the go using the Adobe dimension, so you can see where these two things tie. So you cannot really run away from it. So if you want to get a very, very, amazing workflow if you're someone that loves having a very streamlined workflow so you have adobe and adobe have you on their fingers right now so i would like to know what you guys think about these updates and these things in the comment section below let's have a chat down there and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and if you're new here it would be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know once we release a new video and until I see you guys again with the tutorial review, free Friday update, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.